This is a 3M sample rarest purple Merple vintage promotional sticker. You guys, $104.50 for one scratch and sniff sticker. How cool is that? And there it is. Positive feedback. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, I have a Bolo category video for you. And I have done this category before, but I thought I needed to update it because we need to sell, we need to see what stickers are selling for big money right now. So these are amazing. Um, just wait until you see some of these sold. Unbelievable what vintage and discontinued retired stickers can sell for. Let's start here. Now, this one is a little bit different, but I noticed it when I was searching and I wanted to share it with you guys because I didn't know about it. Something I have never seen before. So it says vintage 1933 Glacier National Park entrance permit sticker. How cool is this? Absolutely amazing. Sold for $382.77 with eight bids on auction. But what's better than that? This person found all of these. Um, so somebody must have saved these, collect the, collected these. And I don't know if it was like an estate that maybe they got these from. But look at them all. They're all bolos. This one didn't go for as much, but it had some damage. And it probably depends on which national park it is. But I didn't even know these existed. But they are very, very old. And probably most of these got tossed, thrown away. Just amazing. 1934, 1935. How cool are those? So if you ever see those in the wild, definitely pick them up. Um, the chances of us finding those probably probably not very good, but it's good to know in case you do run into it. The next item here are these vintage um, new old stock BMX bicycle stickers. They are decals. There's 140 of them here. Now I'm guessing somebody may be buying these to part out. Not really 100% sure, but BMX vintage items New old stock items. I have seen things in the packaging. I share them in my Facebook group when I see them, but vintage BMX is definitely a bolo. These sold for $255 um, with 11 bids plus shipping. This one here is amazing. Look at it, you guys. It's one sticker. Vintage G1 My Little Pony stickers for Sweet Pop. I don't know why it says stickers because there's only one. 1985 title probably could I probably would have put the actual date in there and probably Hasbro Hasbro I don't know anyway this sold for three hundred dollars free shipping and I did verify I'm pretty sure I went in and verified that one let me show you how to do that um if you go in yeah I did I remember I checked this one so if you go into the feedback um Let's just put G1. I think they, right here. See, item exactly as pictured, careful, fast shipping. And you can see $300. That's that sticker. Absolutely crazy, right? I do like to verify my items when I do these category videos, just so you guys know that these are legitimate sales. Um, right here, they've got uh, this tape measure up to it. This is a 3M sample rarest purple Merple vintage promotional sticker. You guys, $104.50 for one scratch and sniff sticker. How cool is that? And there it is. Positive feedback. The next item are these vintage 1980s stickers, Miss Gluff's Hallmark 1983 sealed. And these are fuzzy, so they're kind of like flocked. 
and they're dated. And this is Hallmark cards. These sold for $69 plus shipping. This one here are more fluffy stickers. You can see there, you can kind of see that they're a little bit raised. $89 on those plus shipping. And again, I did go in and verify these with feedback. Rare vintage 1980s stickers, car design, super teeny weenies toots. So here you go. All of these. This is a lot. And here are all the different ones. $165 for those plus shipping. This is super toot car design. Vintage 1980s foil, sunny, and exercise bear. And you can see on the back, it says super toots. What do you guys think? Huh? <laughs> Crazy, right? $120 for those two stickers. People really, really collect these. Um, I know I sold some scratch and sniff and I talked about it in another video. And looking back, I probably should have cut them into individual stickers and sold them individually. I probably would have made more money. I think a reseller probably bought it from me to do just exactly that. That may be a reseller buying this. These are scratch and sniff. Sometimes you can get, I mean, a good amount just for one sticker. And these sold for $120. Woo. Uh, free shipping. This here is not a sticker, but when I was researching, I found it and I did not even know this bolo existed. So I wanted to share it with you guys. It's a vintage 1980s Critter Sitters candy apple scented double sided sniff folder. It's a scratch and sniff folder, you guys. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Did you know there was such a thing? This sold for $129.99. And here is another one. So if you see that little scratch and sniff right here up in the upper corner, you're going to want to pick that folder up because this one sold for $150 free shipping. This is a sticker album. So if you find a sticker album and they are not on the original sticker sheets, they will still sell. This album sold for $150. And I don't know, maybe I have my old sticker book somewhere in a tote. Um, I had a sticker book and it was so awesome. And I don't know if I kept it or not. My mom might have it somewhere or I may have it in a tote like in the attic. But I had a sticker book and it was so fun. I loved having sticker books. And that one was a good sale. Positive feedback. Now, this one's cool. It's a vintage 1993 SWAT Cats Hanna-Barbera uh, Rare Prism Vending Machine Sticker. Let me know in the comments if you had a sticker book. And if you did, do you still have it? And would you be willing to sell it if it was a big money bolo? I know some people are like, no way, I'm keeping it. This right here sold for $107.50. And here's another one. And you can see it's got the date. And these came out of a vending machine. The only thing I wish is that they would have had like a tape measure up to this. So I know how big it is. Cause I'm thinking of a vending machine, like the little, you know, they're really small. So I don't know how big this is. 152.05 on that one. This is a vintage 1980s and these are foil and Pegasus rainbow sticker sheet, 54.94 on that one. Still great money, right? Vintage 1980s Hallmark greetings, MIP stickers, cute birds. And let's, I don't know how they know that it's from the 80s. But that sold for $141.39. So even the American Greetings and the Hallmark can do well also. Here's another one, $177.50 on those plus shipping. These are classic designs by Sandy Lyons. Sandy Lyons, some of them can go for big bucks. Uh, the ones in the strips like this, don't tend, usually go for as much, but this one ended up going for $69.99. And I'm wondering if it's because they've kind of got that uh, glare. I'm not sure what that's called. Prism, maybe. Vintage animal stickers from the 1980s. So this is just kind of a hodgepodge of different vintage stickers. And 
these sold for $179.50. So again, somebody could be buying these to sell them individually or um, maybe a collector. But people will sell these like just that little sticker sheet individually. Here's more hologram, Cabbage Patch, Puffy, Muppets, all from the 1980s. This person did not want to part them out, so they are selling them as a lot, $62.99 for that. And those are already pulled off kind of in a sticker book format. Right here, you have this Vintage Stickers 1980s lot, limited edition card design number. Uh, number one. So $75 on this. And again, it looks like a mixed lot there. Not really sure if that's kind of some sort of sticker book or not. Vintage religious metallic fun stickers from the 1980s. These sold for $75. I'm not perfect, just forgiven. How cool is that? So this is an awesome lot. All right, let's go on to the next one here. This is more of those toots and card design stickers, $255 for these. Just amazing what stickers can sell for, right? These are vintage Super Toots teddy bears. These are all teddy bears, $110.50 on auction, four bids, plus shipping on these. And I'm going to show you one from a YouTuber at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. Um, an awesome channel that you guys definitely need to be checking out. 1982 vintage scratch and, scratch and sniff ET promo sample. Sweden by Trend, $129.99 on those. Scratch and Sniff is where it's at. If you can find Scratch and Sniff, whoo, you're in the money. Scratch and Sniff, well, here we go. Peaches, um, Mark One Celebrity, Scratch and Sniff, $189.99. Here's some more. These are stinky stickers by Trend, $199.99. It's like a cheeseburger. Bet that smells funny. Um, Chocolate, uh, trend puffy chocolate stickers. And these are the stinky stickers also, but it doesn't look like they have the original packaging, but it does look to be unused. $149.99 on that one, free shipping. These are the fuzzy pink elephant stickers. So they're kind of flocked. Let me see if I can see how they're kind of flocked. Anything like that, definitely look up. And let me show you, here's what the back looks like. $175.27 for these. They're from the 1980s and highly collectible. Here's another one. These are elephants. And I'm sorry, that's not an elephant. That's a rhinoceros. <laughs> it's metallic foil rhinoceros. And this is probably another really hard to find rare item sold for $301.99. And again, if I'm showing it, I verified it with feedback. These are more of those toots and these are the foil stickers. So the foil stickers, the prism stickers, the scratch and sniff, the ones that are a little bit special tend to do better and um, go for higher amounts. $100 plus shipping on that. These are the fuzzy candy canes. They sold for $77.55. And we have a Lisa Frank lot. <laughs> Wait until you guys see this. This is hilarious. Um, I'm... Yeah. But anyway, Lisa Frank, vintage Lisa Frank, if you can find her, most items that are vintage Lisa Frank go for big money, not just stickers. So be on the lookout for that. But these, this is a sticker lot and it sold for $597.87 plus shipping. And right here it says adult diapers as packing material definitely freaked me out, but it's all good. Great seller arrives sooner than expected, just as described. So let me know, what do you think they mean by adult diapers packaging? Do you think they mean it's just a box? Do you think that um, they used a diaper? Like, what is going on with this? I'm going to tell you that if I sold something for $600, it is not going to be shipped in a diaper box. Oh, my goodness. Um, at least the person was forgiving and still left positive feedback. but. 
just I thought that was really funny. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. Okay, Toy Attic, go and sub her up. She is amazing. She talks about tons of different toys on her channel. Just really unique, different content. She is also a reseller with super fantastic knowledge of items that you can resell for a profit. So go check out her channel, sub her up. Let me show you some stickers she sold. First off, I'm going to show you all of these stickers that she has available in her store. So I filtered by stickers and you can see some of the asking prices that she has. Um, she has researched these items and has them available in her eBay store. So you can check out her store to see what else she's selling. She sells a lot of toys, but you know, like this is just $10, but still $10 for a sheet of stickers is pretty fantastic. So you can uh, check her channel out and her eBay store. This one right here is a rare vintage 1980s Mega Maxi 8 by 11 Sandy Lion activity stickers dress. She sold this for $100. How cool is that? She also sold this one for $125. It is a 1984 Sandy Lion activity vintage stickers dress, a gingerbread scratch and sniff. So again, go give Jody a sub. Her channel is Toy Attic. I will link it down in the description of the video. She is amazing, has a fantastic channel. You will definitely learn. She collects strawberry shortcake and she knows a lot about it. So um, I usually hit her up with some of my questions on certain vintage toys and she is super helpful and amazing. So um, thank you guys so much for being here. Let me know what you think about these stickers. Um, I do love picking up stickers when I find them. Um, I've done pretty well. Most of mine have been bread and butter, but if you go back, um, some of my older what solds, I have sold some for the 50 to $75 range and they were scratch and sniff. I think one of them was close to a hundred. So I have found them. I have found them in the wild. I think I found those at a garage sale and I think I have an un bagging. I think I paid three bucks for all of the stickers and it's either on this channel or it's on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. I'll link that down below in the description. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching and leave me an emoji of a hat. Thanks for watching.